History is bound to repeat itself. Or is it? It's the final week of summer in 2018, and nearly every day along the California coast, concerned members of the public call the Marine Mammal Center with the same frightening description. A California sea lion, seemingly frozen in a stiff, curled position, with its flippers over its abdomen. Researchers at the center know the symptoms all too well. They are telltale signs of leptospirosis, a bacterial infection that can cause irreversible kidney damage, often leaving animals stranded and with slim chances of survival. So far during the year, there have been 220 sea lions with leptospirosis that have been rescued by the center, the second largest number ever seen in a single year. But what sets leptospirosis apart from other illnesses is also what makes 2018's extreme number of cases especially puzzling. Something changed. For more than 30 years, leptospirosis was surprisingly predictable. In the summer and fall, California sea lion populations would experience a seasonal outbreak of the infection, and every four to five years, a major outbreak would occur, caused by a combination of factors including migration, ocean temperatures, and herd immunity. The illness had a pattern, a cycle, and one thing researchers could count on was that for leptospirosis, history would certainly repeat itself. Until it didn't. In 2013, leptospirosis disappeared, and for four consecutive years, the illness was not observed in California sea lions. But after over 200 cases in 2018, scientists at the Marine Mammal Center and their colleagues elsewhere are left to solve the mystery of why the infection is back, and why it left in the first place. In order to do this, they look to when sea lions are most at risk of contacting the dangerous leptospira bacteria. The scientists know the bacteria is spread through urine, so marine mammals are likely at greater risk on land when they're in close contact with other sea lions. The less time spent on land, the less risk of exposure. Many wonder whether in 2013, when leptospirosis disappeared, sea lions may have spent less time on land. And if so, why? It doesn't take long for the researchers to come up with a potential reason. A huge mass of warm water, known as the blob, was notorious for having a massive impact on the ecology of the West Coast from 2013 to 2016, the same period of time that leptospirosis disappeared. The scientists suggest that the warm water may have shifted the behaviors of fish species, forcing sea lions and other marine mammals to spend more time searching for their prey in the water and less time on land, where they were at greater risk. But if this was the case, why didn't things simply return to normal when the blob disappeared? Without the annual outbreak of leptospirosis, sea lions during this four-year span were never exposed to the bacteria and therefore never afforded the opportunity to develop resistance to it, leading to a population of sea lions extremely vulnerable to the kind of record outbreak seen in 2018. Thankfully, Veterinarians and volunteers at the Marine Mammal Center are able to rescue and rehabilitate a number of the six sea lions. But scientists fear that major climate events like the blob could become more common with the effects of a changing global climate. In the time since the 2018 outbreak, it has become more evident that outbreaks of leptospirosis aren't the only things that are cyclic. The causes of climate change, driven by a business-as-usual approach to greenhouse gas production, seem more and more like a component of history that is bound to repeat itself. The only way to stop this cycle is by change, and informed members of the public supporting the efforts of organizations like the Marine Mammal Center that are committed to making that change. And just like the outbreaks, history only seems to repeat itself until it doesn't. <laughs>